Hello, happy February 18th. And this day is called the day of the complete picture. So happy birthday. Is this your birthday? If it's your birthday, I wish you a happy birthday and the best year to come. Today, we're going to be reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays, your complete personology guide to each day of the year by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers. There's a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing this awesome book. They also have many other fabulous books, my favorite of which is The Secret Language of Destiny. So uh, let's find out about this day and those born on it. All right. Month February, day 18. You are 28 degrees Aquarius to zero degrees Pisces. You are an Aquarius Pisces cusp sun sign, and you're a fixed, uh, fixed air sign. And this cusp is called the cusp of sensitivity. And cusp, the, I don't know if you're familiar, but um, people who have cusp signs, which means they have two signs as their sun sign, means you're straddling the end of one side, uh, one side right before the beginning of another. And so you have an influence of those, those balances. And um, it's interesting. <clears throat> All right. So the day of the complete picture, the magnetic individuals born on February 18 enliven their surroundings with their ideas and energy. Not ones to get bogged down in details, they stand back in order to see the whole picture, the big view. Rarely will they make important decisions until they have heard every side of the story. Their life is not a haphazard series of events, nor are they overly fatalistic about accepting what comes along. Behind everything they do is an underlying philosophy of life, a basic set of principles for living which they do not betray. Because they are so convinced of these core values, it may be difficult or impossible for them to change greatly. However, because of their sincere desire to know the truth, they are usually open to listening to various points of view, if only to learn from them. Because of their far-reaching views and well-directed ambitions, February 18 people may overlook certain trivial or meaningless details, which in fact have great importance, if not to themselves, then to others. Indeed, some born on this day can get a little out of touch with the facts of everyday existence. They may grow impatient with housework, maintenance of property, or the handling of their financial affairs. Through taking what others may feel as an aloof or superior attitude, they can arouse jealousy or enmity. Although it is true that February 18 people are often self-assured, highly autonomous individuals who need a great deal of time to themselves, they rarely cut themselves off from their fellow human beings or resist calls for help. They are empathetic and sympathetic, but only up to a point, however, for they are not willing to sacrifice their time or their ideals to unnecessary demands or claiming attitudes. Most February 18 people have problems with emotional hypersensitivity in childhood and, ex and, and in extreme cases may be pushed in one of two directions either withdrawing from the cares and suffering of the world and perfecting their personal vision of how a utopia should be, or building a tough, steel-like exterior and taking on the world. In either case, they nonetheless move in the direction of maximizing both the scope and influence of their ideas. If February 18 people can remain fixed on long-term goals, but at the same time attend the daily business of the physical work, they will be successful. If they get sidetracked, however, because of an inability to control their emotions and sensitivities, they will probably flounder and be unhappy. Having the willpower and toughness to see plans through while at the same time persevering their sensitivity, uh, preserving rather, oh, let's try that sentence again. So <clears throat> having the willpower and toughness to see plans through while at the same time preserving their sensitivity is a key to self-realization for them. All right, numbers and planets. Those born on the 18th day of the month are ruled by the number nine, one plus eight equaling nine, and by the planet Mars. The number nine is powerful in its influence on other numbers. Add any number, or rather any number added to nine yields that number. Example being five plus nine equals 14 and four plus one equals five. And any number multiplied by 9 yields a 9. 9 times 5 equals 45, and then 4 plus 5 equals 9. 
And February 18 people are similarly able to exert a strong influence on those around them. The effect of Uranus, Aquarius's ruler on Mars, can indicate instability and impulsiveness in those born on this day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tarot in tarot. The 18th card of the major arcana is the moon, which primarily represents the world of dreams, emotions, and the unconscious. Positive attributes include sensitivity, empathy, and emotional understanding. Negative qualities include emotional malleability and lack of ego. In health, those born on February 18 are prone to neglect everyday concerns because their thoughts are busy elsewhere. Consequently, having regular dental and medical checkups scheduled is crucial to their health. In fact, bringing structure to all areas of their life, from diet to exercise, is key. The food habits of those born on this day may tend to be rather odd or irregular. Learning to cook or even developing advanced culinary skills is recommended. Cooking for family and friends can also be helpful in bringing out their nurturing side. As far as exercise is concerned, moderate daily workouts are preferable, perhaps in the form of long walks, bicycling, or swimming. All right, advice for this day. Follow your dreams, but tend to everyday matters as well. Don't forget your friends or cut yourself off from the world. Loneliness and negativity can be combated, often by being more open and accepting. All right, the meditation for this day is the tiny details are the most difficult to master. Boom! Awesome! So, if you were born on this day, your strengths could be that you are magnetic, sensitive, and philosophical, and your weaknesses could be that you are aloof, isolated, or impatient. All right, now we go to those born on this day. I, uh, a little disclaimer, I apologize for any of my mispronunciations, but I will try my best. Andreas Seg Segovia a Spanish guitarist, um, music transcriber, and editor who created the guitar as a concert instrument in the 20th century. Toni Morrison, Pulitzer Prize, first Nobel Prize winning African-American woman novelist of the novel Beloved. Charles M. Schwab, first president, U.S. Steel, investment firm founder, began driving stakes for a dollar a day. Uh, Semyon Timoshenko, USSR commanding general, World War II, defeated German armed forces. Yoko Ono, Japanese-born conceptual artist, singer, songwriter, and married John Lennon. John Travolta, a TV and film actor. Sybil Shepard, a, a film and TV actress. Milo Foreman, a Czech-American film director of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Amadeus. Boom. Uh, Helen Gurley Brown, G-U-R-L-E-Y, <laughs> editor-in-chief of the Co of Cosmopolitan, a writer of Sex and the Single Girl. Matt Dillon, film actor. Jean... Mm, Jean... All, A-U-E-L. A novelist of Clan of the Cave Bear. Dong Kejun, a Chinese woodcut artist. Who, uh, Alexander Volta, an Italian physicist, electrical unit namesake. Volta. <laughs> uh, Jack Palant, uh, Palanche? Palance. Oh man, I shouldn't know how to say that, I think. Um, a film actor. Adolf Menju, a film actor over 200 films. George Kennedy, a film actor. Rama Krishna, an Indian 19th century mystic writer and founder of Vedanta Society. V Vana White, is that right? Vana White, a TV co-host. Wendell Wilkie, a Republican presidential candidate, lawyer who wrote One World. And lastly, we have Jean Dra Drapeau, D-R-A-P-E-A-U, Montreal mayor for 32 years. Dang. Uh, so I hope this could help you along your path. Um, I'll read out this meditation one last time. The tiny details are the most difficult to master. Boom. If you're interested in the daily oracle read, it'll be linked down below. 
I appreciate you. And um, I look forward to seeing you again. Take care of yourself. Mwah. Thank you.